Passion Travail is a chain specializing in everything related to travel, street food, and like subscribe if you like the content. Kotbuller, Kotbuller, or Swedish meatballs, are a classic street food in Sweden. They are small, flavorful meatballs made from a mixture of ground meat, often a combination of beef and pork, breadcrumbs, onions, and spices. They are usually served with lingonberry sauce and creamy mashed potatoes. Kotbuller, also known as Swedish meatballs, are a beloved dish in Swedish cuisine. They have gained popularity worldwide and are often associated with Swedish culture. Here's some information about kotbuller. Ingredients Kotbuller are typically made from a mixture of ground meat, commonly a combination of beef and pork. The meat is mixed with breadcrumbs, finely chopped onions, milk, and spices such as salt, pepper, and allspice. Some variations may also include ingredients like garlic, nutmeg, or ginger for additional flavor, shape and size. Kotbuller are small, round meatballs, usually about the size of a golf ball. They are formed by rolling the meat mixture into bite-sized balls using your hands. Cooking method Kotbuller are traditionally cooked by frying them in butter or oil until they develop a golden brown crust. However, they can also be baked in the oven for a healthier alternative. Serving, kotbuller are commonly served with lingonberry sauce, which provides a sweet and tart contrast to the savory meatballs. They are often accompanied by creamy mashed potatoes and a side of pickled cucumbers. Some additional garnishes may include brown gravy, cranberry sauce, or a sprinkle of chopped parsley. Cultural significance, kotbuller are a significant part of Swedish culinary heritage and are often associated with traditional Swedish cuisine. They are commonly enjoyed during festive occasions. Family gatherings and holiday celebrations, including the popular Swedish Midsummer and Christmas feasts, Swedish meatball culture, Kotbuller have gained international fame, thanks in part to the Swedish furniture retailer IKEA, which popularized them by serving them in their store's restaurants. As a result, they have become synonymous with Swedish cuisine worldwide. Grilled sausages, Grillkorv grilled sausages are a staple street food item in Sweden. These sausages, often made from a combination of pork and beef, are grilled to perfection and served in a hot dog bun. They are commonly topped with mustard, ketchup, and crispy onions. Grilled sausages are a popular street food in many countries, including Sweden. They are a flavorful and convenient option that can be enjoyed on the go. Here's some information about grilled sausages in the context of Swedish cuisine, types of sausages. In Sweden, various types of sausages are commonly used for grilling. The most popular choice is called grillkorv, which is a general term for grilled sausages. Grillkorv sausages are typically made from a combination of pork and beef, seasoned with spices such as salt, pepper, and garlic. Grilling method, the sausages are typically cooked on a grill or barbecue, giving them a smoky and charred flavor. They can be placed directly on the grill grates or skewered for easier handling. The grilling process adds a deliciously crispy texture to the sausages. Serving, grilled sausages are often served in a hot dog bun, creating a simple and convenient handheld meal. They can be garnished with various toppings and condiments according to personal preference. Common accompaniments include mustard, ketchup, pickles, sauerkraut, fried onions, and relish, regional variations, different regions in Sweden may have their own unique styles of grilled sausages. For example, the Falukorv is a popular sausage variety that originated in Falun, Sweden. It is typically made from a mix of pork and beef, and its distinct red color and mild flavor make it a favorite for grilling. Street food culture, grilled sausages are often found at food stalls, street markets, festivals, and sporting events in Sweden. They are a convenient and delicious option for a quick and satisfying meal, especially during outdoor activities or gatherings. Accompaniments Grilled sausages are often served with bread or buns, but they can also be enjoyed with traditional Swedish sides such as mashed potatoes, lingonberry sauce, or crisp bread. These accompaniments enhance the overall flavor and create a more substantial meal. Rikmaka Rikmaka is an open-faced sandwich topped with generous amounts of peeled shrimp. The shrimp are typically arranged on a slice of buttered bread and garnished with lettuce, mayonnaise, lemon wedges, and dill. It is a popular street food choice, especially in coastal areas. 
Rikmaka is a traditional Swedish open-faced sandwich that features generous amounts of peeled shrimp as the main ingredient. It is a popular street food and a classic dish in Swedish cuisine. Here's some information about rikmaka, ingredients. The key ingredient in rikmaka is peeled shrimp, which are typically cooked, chilled, and arranged on top of the sandwich. The shrimp are often mixed with a creamy sauce that can be based on mayonnaise or creme fraiche, seasoned with herbs, lemon juice, and sometimes a touch of Dijon mustard. Bread, rikmaka is traditionally made with a slice of buttered white bread, which serves as the foundation for the toppings. The bread is usually toasted or grilled to provide a crispy texture. Garnishes, in addition to the shrimp and sauce, rigmaca can be adorned with various garnishes to enhance the flavor and presentation. Common garnishes include lettuce, slices of hard-boiled egg, lemon wedges, and sprigs of fresh dill. Some variations may include thinly sliced red onions or capers for added tanginess. Variations, while the classic rigmaca primarily features shrimp, there are variations that incorporate other seafood or ingredients. For example, Skagen Rora is a popular variant that combines shrimp with finely chopped onions, dill, mayonnaise, and sometimes sour cream. This mixture is then spread on the bread and topped with additional shrimp and garnishes. Serving, Rigmaka is typically served as an open-faced sandwich, allowing the vibrant colors and textures of the ingredients to be showcased. It is often enjoyed as a light lunch, a snack, or as part of a seafood-focused meal. Cultural significance, rigmaka holds a special place in Swedish culinary traditions, particularly in coastal regions where seafood is abundant. It is often associated with summer, when Swedes enjoy outdoor dining and seafood feasts. Tunbrotsroll, tunbrotsroll is a popular street food snack commonly found in Swedish cities. It consists of a soft flatbread, tunbrod filled with grilled sausage, mashed potatoes, lettuce, onions, ketchup, and mustard. It is a satisfying and convenient meal on the go. Tunbrotsroll, also known as a Swedish wrap or flatbread roll, is a popular street food item in Sweden. It is a versatile and customizable dish that consists of a soft and thin flatbread, tunbrod, wrapped around various fillings. Here are some key points about tunbrotsroll, tunbrod. Tunbrod is a traditional Swedish flatbread made from a mixture of rye and wheat flour. It is rolled out into thin, round sheets and cooked on a hot griddle or in an oven. Tunbrod has a soft and pliable texture, making it ideal for wrapping fillings. Fillings, tunbrodsroll can be filled with a wide range of ingredients, offering a variety of flavors and combinations. Some common fillings include sliced meat, grilled or fried meat slices, such as beef, chicken, or kebab meat, are often used as the main protein component in tunbrotsroll. Vegetables, various vegetables are added to tunbrotsroll for freshness and crunch. Common choices include lettuce, tomatoes, cucumbers, and shredded carrots, sauces and condiments. Tunbrotsroll is typically topped with a selection of sauces and condiments to enhance the flavors. These can include mayonnaise, ketchup, mustard, garlic sauce, tzatziki, or hot sauce additional toppings, depending on personal preferences, other toppings such as pickles, onions, cheese, or herbs may be added to provide extra flavor and texture, assembly, to assemble a tunbrots roll. The flatbread is laid out, and the fillings are placed in the center. The sides of the tunbrot are then folded over the fillings, and the whole wrap is rolled tightly to secure the contents. Street food culture. Tunbrotsroll is commonly found at food trucks, street markets, and festivals throughout Sweden. It is a popular choice for a quick and satisfying meal on the go. Kannelbuller, kannelbuller, or cinnamon buns, are a beloved Swedish pastry that can be found in many street food stalls and bakeries. These soft and fluffy rolls are filled with butter, sugar, and cinnamon, then topped with pearl sugar. They are perfect for a sweet snack with a cup of coffee. Kannelbuller, also known as Swedish cinnamon buns, are a classic and beloved pastry in Sweden. They are a popular treat enjoyed with coffee or tea and are often associated with Swedish fika, a daily coffee break. Here's some information about kannelbuller, dough. Kannelbuller are made from a sweet yeast dough that is enriched with ingredients like butter, milk, sugar, and cardamom. The dough is soft, fluffy, and slightly sweet providing a perfect base for the cinnamon filling, 
cinnamon filling. The dough is rolled out into a rectangle and spread with a generous layer of a cinnamon sugar mixture. The cinnamon gives the buns their distinctive flavor and aroma, while the sugar adds sweetness and caramelization during baking. Some variations may also include a touch of butter or vanilla in the filling, shaping. Once the dough is spread with the cinnamon filling, it is rolled up tightly from one of the longer sides, creating a log shape. The log is then cut into individual rolls, each revealing the beautiful spiral of cinnamon filling. Baking. The rolls are placed on a baking sheet and allowed to rise for a short period to become light and fluffy. They are then baked in the oven until golden brown and fragrant. Topping. After baking, cannelbuller are often brushed with a simple sugar syrup or glaze while they are still warm, which adds a glossy finish and extra sweetness to the buns. Some versions may also have a sprinkle of pearl sugar on top for added texture and decoration. Cardamom. Cardamom is a key spice used in Swedish baking, and it is commonly added to cannelbuller. It adds a unique and aromatic flavor that complements the sweetness of the dough and the richness of the cinnamon filling. Cultural significance. Cannelbuller hold a special place in Swedish culture and are deeply rooted in Swedish traditions. They are associated with various celebrations such as Fetisdagen, Fat Tuesday, and St. Lucia's Day, as well as everyday fika gatherings.